everybody. Um, I'm jumping on and I wanted to give a quick overview of what the Deseret Bookshelf app entitles. Again, so Deseret Bookshelf Plus app. Um, a lot of you have expressed interest in the past, have clicked on information to learn more. I wanted to give a quick walkthrough so you understood everything that was involved because to be honest, this is the greatest app um, that there is out there for the Latter-day Saint market. Aside from like the library, the gospel library, which is free, the Desert Bookshelf app is incredible, okay? So what is it? Um, I'm gonna do later on my on this channel a live demo on the mobile, but let me just flip this around real quick. Um, so this is the website that talks about it. So Desert Bookshelf Plus app. Uh, basically, it's an app where you can download over 500 audiobooks, and then let me scroll up real quick here. Um, there's also 2,500 eBooks, okay? So basically, everything available on the Desert Bookshelf, um, you know, Desert Book website, most likely there's an audiobook on there, um, and also there's a eBook. And audiobooks are awesome, so I'll download, I'm listening to, to right now, um, A Case for the Book of Mormon by Tad Kalisher, which is incredible, incredible, incredible book. Incredible. Um, uh, so I'm listening to that right now. You just download it, and then as I'm going to work, I listen to it. Sometimes in the morning when I come back from the gym, I pop, I pop it up, and uh, I'm listening to it while I uh, make my breakfast. Even at the gym, I have it playing. Um, there's also the new book that just came out. Um, let's actually pull it up real quick. I'm going to show it to you. Um, this is kind of, let me flip, flip this around. These are some of the titles. Basically, this is the whole Desert Book Library. You click on here. So the case for the Book of Mormon, you see you could buy the book for like 12 bucks or this, uh, the C's for 35 If you click on it, it says right down here, it's free with Desert Bookshelf Plus, okay? So you can listen to it absolutely free. Um, and I'll tell you how to, how to get the app in a minute, but again, over 500 audiobooks. And I wanna show you this real quick. My wife, I mean, this is kind of just, this is so yeah. Every time she downloads a book, I get a notification, okay? And she's been downloading quite a few. That's just in like the last week. Um, I've listened to it's not just uh, LDS books. There's also like novels and such. Let me, let's go in here and just check out the library. I wanna show you guys everything this has. Cause honestly, this is probably the coolest book, uh, excuse me, coolest app. So look at all these titles. So there's a case for the Book of Mormon. Then there's Tracy Hunter, Abraham, Abraham, Abraham book, excuse me, Abramson book, Sanctuary, okay? So Rise Up. There's different genres as you can tell. That there's gospel related books, um, but there's also like self help, like Matt Townsend. He's an incredible um, radio host and deals a lot with relationships. Um, Choose Joy by Gandalin Connie. She's incredible. Again, all of these books you can listen to um, in audiobook format, and if they have it in ebook format, that as well. Um, more Gandalin Condi, Watch Your Back, so some novels. Um, Lots of different no novels. There's also talks from people's um, Time Out for Women tours. Um, but there's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Um, but classics too, like incredible, like Gerald Lund, um, John, by the way, basically all at your fingertips. Um, so this app, real quick, I want to explain too, it's not like Audible. So Audible is a pretty famous app where you pay like 15 bucks a month and then you can listen to like one, you get one book credit or something. That's not like this at all. Once you are have a subscription to the Desert Bookshelf app, you have access to their whole library day one, okay? And so I'm, I've been listening to like seven books at a time. Um, I've, been listening, I've been listening to The Case for the Book of Mormon, um, also, ten issues among the Nephites with my kids. I was listening to that, uh, listening to Jesus the Christ. Um, so it's cool that you can you have access to everything. Um, and then for the eBooks, 
you know, it's good to have an ebook. You can pull it up on any device you have and use it for church, or if you're in bed, just scroll on through. You want some quiet and just kind of study something. Again, 2,500 ebooks. Um, let's just go back here. Let's flip over here. I want to get you, have you guys get a... Um, so that you can get work and glory, you know, the work and the glory, that's one you can get on audiobook, I think. If not, at least it has an ebook, I know that. Um, but again, here's some of the ones I've, I've read. Yeah, so work and the glory, you have all of them there. Infinite Atonement, I've been listening to. Um, Tennis Shoes Among the Nephites. Uh, Worth the Wrestle, probably Sherry Dew's awesome one. Gail Miller's book, incredible too. Um, lots of good stuff. I wanted to, again, make this video because a lot of people have shown interest and I want them to know exactly what this app can do. It's incredible. So you get, again, everything in your finger, fingertips, the audiobooks, okay? And then all the ebooks. Again, you have everything from day one. It's not like you get to check one out and return it. Um, I wanted to go through real quick and show you um, again, if you wanted to see, this is, there's a way to see the library. Um, so if you go here, I'll put a link, but if you want to browse the whole library of audiobooks, you just click on that link and you browse all the audiobooks. Okay. And then you can browse the ebook library here. Let's wait for this. And, and most of them, they're same. There's a lot more. Most of them have it. Um, you know, there'll be some in duplicate format. Some you can just get in the ebook, and others you can just get as audiobook. Now, this one carried. Um, this was an incredible book I listened to it's by Michelle Schmidt talking about um, her daughter who died. And just to hear that thought story is awesome. It really was. Uh, but it was cool for me to listen to it on audiobook going to work. Okay, um, let me give you some of the, what it looks like on mobile, okay? So this is the mobile version, and again, I'll do a video to walk through the mobile, but I just took some screenshots here. Um, so on this one, it has, you know, a lot of the talks for Time Out for Women, some of the classic Desert Book um Things are there. Let's see. We got official church materials. Like you can listen to Saints on this, which was incredible. That's how I listened to Saints was through this audiobook. You got the scriptures, of course, general conference talks. And again, some of the stuff you can access on the Gospel Library, but some you can't. Most of it you can't. Um, the LDS Living Podcast All In, you get all the episodes here. Again, there's like romance novels, there's popular ebooks. Um, it has, you know, the. Come follow me, uh, materials. Let's go here. Um, trending audiobooks is Saints and, um, you know, Insights from a Prophet's Life, Russell M. Nelson. That's a big one now. Um, and then there's New Testament scripture reference books. Again, we talked about the LDS Living, um, excuse me, the podcasts. And these are some of the ones that, you know, my wife's been listening to Sanctuary. How Do I Know I Know by John Byther, which is a great book for kids, and I've been listening to, to that one. Again, it has, you know, it breaks it up by some of the newer stuff on Plus, which is these the book Insights, um, and then a book on Hope by Gerald Lund, and then these are some audiobooks from the vault that they're releasing. Um, House of Glory by Truman Madsen. He kind of gives a deep delve into the temple, which is really cool. Okay. Um, 